What's up guys, it's Devin, and today I'm going to be talking about the steps to joining a fandom. So considering as most of us are on booktube, we are all a part of some book fandom. And I found that the steps to joining fandoms are quite similar no matter what fandom you're joining. So I thought I would actually lay it on the table for you and show you these seven steps to joining a fandom. Before I start, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here if you have not already. There's new and exciting videos every weekend. So without further ado, I give you the seven steps to joining a fandom. For the purposes of this study, I will be making an example of three different fandoms. A television fandom, a book fandom, and a music fandom. Step one, it always starts with the discovery. The originals? What's it about? The original family of vampires, huh? It's your first encounter. You could be unaware of the fandom. Hamilton breaks record with 16 Tony Award nominations. What is Hamilton about? Hamilton is a musical about the life of American founding father Alexander Hamilton. But you are now made aware and this is kind of where you find out what the fandom is about. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Step two is denial, and this is an optional step. Not everyone goes through it, but this You know, I really want to, but I'm, I'm in the middle of Doctor Who. I, I can't watch the originals right now. This is actually a step that I went through for the originals for Harry Potter, and for Hamilton. So it's a history lesson? I don't even like history, that sounds ridiculous. This is where you cast this particular fandom aside unknowing that it could be changing your life at the very moment if you just gave it a chance. It's about an 11 year old? Stupid. For step three, some people can go right from step one to step three, and that is acceptance. This is accepting the fandom into your life. There's nothing to watch! No, 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 no. The originals. Maybe I should watch it just to get my mom off my back. Might as well. This is giving it a chance. It is listening to that first song, turning open that first page, or watching that first episode. None of these ones sound interesting. <sighs> I guess I could read Harry Potter, I mean. Wizards do sound kind of fun. Pulling Bananas Books made a Hamilton book tag? <sighs> I guess it's time for me to finally figure out what Hamilton is. Step four is obsession, and this is the step that you truly allow the fandom into your soul. Not just your life, but your entire being. This step is crucial to joining a fandom. Season two. How many episodes did I watch tonight? Seven? No, no, no. 4 a.m.? When you start to dive deeper into the fandom, you start following people related to the fandom on Twitter and Instagram. You add all of the blogs on Tumblr and you make a Pinterest board solely dedicated to that fandom. Why did This is devouring all of the information that you can, and a lot of people will experience this step in also reading fan fiction, which is very popular among fandoms. Sorry guys, I can't go out tonight. I'm super busy. Reading Harry Potter, duh. Pfft. <laughs> step five is consumption, and this is different from obsession. Follow. Uh, yeah, I'll follow Phoebe Tonkin, and Joseph Morgan, and Julie Fleck. That picture of clothes, though. That picture of clothes. But should I repin it onto my clothes board, my originals board, or my Joseph Morgan board? I 
guys will do all three because obsession is just that you are thinking about this fandom, but consumption is where it takes over your entire life. Okay, I think I finally narrowed it down to the top three. Battle of Yorktown, my shot, and the room where it happens. What is my new ringtone? Who am I kidding? It has to be my shot. Some people can be stuck in this step for a very long time, and that's perfectly okay because they are just happy. There are some people still stuck in the Harry Potter consumption phase, which is amazing because they are so incredibly happy. Some people go through this stage a lot quicker and they are able to jump into a new fandom. Today I'm going to be giving my essay as to why JK Rowling should have given Draco Malfoy a better redemption arc. Harry Potter is a classic. This is where it's all you think about. You eat, breathe, sleep the fandom. It takes over your entire life. This is where you are inserting the lingo from that fandom into your everyday life. It's my precious. I'll expel Yarmus you if you come near it. Step six is attempted conversion, and this may or may not be successful. It all depends on how persuasive you are. And this goes hand in hand with step five. So you can still be in step five while proceeding to step six. They can be done at the exact same time. Hey Jenny, it's Devin. I'm good, good. Um, so I'm just calling, just going to give you a public service announcement that you should totally be reading Harry Potter. What's about this 11 year old wizard? Oh, I've already told you about it. Have you read it yet? Are you gonna read it? How soon? Like tomorrow, next week? When? This is where you try to make other people aware of the fandom so it can change their lives just as much as it has changed yours. Hey Anna, so I'm just calling to let you know that you should be reading Harry Potter. This is like the fourth message I've left you after you stopped answering your phone. I don't know why you won't read Harry Potter. It's just, it's, it's classic. It's great, and I know that you're worried because it's a kid's book, but it's, it's really good. You should give it a shot. I did, not look what happened to me. I'm totally fine. I'm perfectly fine. It's great. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Step seven is normalcy, and this is basically where you just accept the fandom into your life. You accept that it is a part of you. And last, Friday's here. It's new originals night. You're no longer consumed by it. Your thoughts may drift to normal things, like your job or school, but the fandom will always be in your heart. Calm down a bit from the consumption stage, and don't be alarmed if this stage does not come for a while, because consumption can take many a month, maybe even years out of your life, but that is okay because you are one happy fandom follower. Oh, look at that. First date I'm not on set. So there you have it, that is the seven steps to joining a fandom. Make sure you comment down below which fandoms you are in and we can totally talk about it together. It'll be so much fun. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and Snapchat. Make sure you check out my last video right over there. And yeah, make sure that you're on the lookout for my next video. That is all for me and my shelfie.